Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at some two-man dungeons. Uh, we're going to be doing some T5 dungeons with a two-man build, and we're going to kind of show you uh, what the build we do, uh, what we run with our build is, and kind of the things to do and not to do. So firstly, uh, when he's running this druid heal, or he's actually running the wildfire staff, um, when he's using this staff, you got to make sure you understand that you're going to be healing uh, through the mobs and when you heal through the mobs you actually get focused um, Right here the big part of our build is the specter shoes I, You should be able to see that right here as you're able to run around for 16 seconds while your mana and or slash energy ticks down And you are able to cancel it once you get to a safe spot So now that we're at a safe spot We're actually able to start on the boss the first thing you want to do is find a safe dungeon all outside uh, Of the path of normal activity because it's going to take you a little bit to kill these bosses you are not splitting the fame, and you're not splitting the loot. So that's going to be the nicest part about this. Um, but I will be just running a regular bow, uh, poison arrows, and just attack speed with mage cow, uh, inspector boots. And you can really run about anything you want as long as you have some kind of druid heal with you. Padmaze is running a wildfire, like I said, or a wild staff because he wants to level that up for ZVZ. So you can level whatever you're kind of looking to level up. Uh, you got a little quick glimpse right there of the build I'm running. And I'm running like tier 7, I believe, just because uh, I don't really have too much too much uh, scare in getting ganked. Um, I do have a siphoned energy with me in case we do want to try to turn on, you know, turn on the en enemy players that kind of try to dive us. Uh, but nobody's really going to probably try to dive us. And if they do, uh, there will be no worries in the world because we have Spectre Shoes, which will be off cooldown when we are attacking bosses. So we will literally be able to just pop those, run for 16 seconds in any direction, and they'll have no chance on us. Uh, right here, you're going to see that it's a little hectic, and Padme's defense dies. Uh, he did have a lag spike there for a second. We are going to have to reset, but that's going to be coming um, to a close here, guys. I don't know if you guys saw the compensation and the little update on what we're going to get and what we're going to receive. This is, by the way, Padme's defense's uh, gear setup. You're going to be able to see it right here. Um, and he is running the Everlasting Spear on the Clear Grove, and it actually didn't work there when he lagged. Uh, because it was such a one shot instead of a it didn't get activated basically because it was such a burst uh, a burst DPS instead of a you know little bit of damage and then it activates and then then more damage so if you guys understand how that works that's what just happened there um, but right here we're just gonna be taking out the mobs kind of in front of the boss uh, and this does work at tier five so I'm thinking we could probably get it to work at tier six dungeons. Uh, like I said, though, this is a tier 5 dungeon, and this is a green-chested boss. We were able to beat uh, up to blue chest bosses. We didn't actually get any purple chest bosses in our, uh, what was it, probably two-hour run of two-man dungeons. Uh, but this is definitely one of the strongest builds for two-man dungeons in my eyes. I mean, we're bursting these down pretty decently quick, uh, not running too crazy of gear. At least he isn't. I'm running T7 flat, nothing too special. Uh, we bring about, uh, let's see here, we probably brought about 20 poisons. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you poison bosses with that T4 poison. It's about 700 apiece, not a big deal. Uh, like I said, though, I am running a, I don't think I've said this actually, but Beef Stew is what I'm running. He's running a pork omelet for his cooldowns, obviously. And we're basically just going to try to burst all this down. My mechanics are going to be a little sluggish here at the very end because I said, uh, you're healing me or else kind of a deal. Um as I was kind of alt tab for a second there, but we do actually end up taking this guy out and finally after we get the kill We get about 5,500 fame for that. Uh, no, no real good loot yet Obviously from the mobs, but you always get the good loot at the bosses and you know green chests aren't gonna be the best loot But you're gonna be able to see here kind of um, How well we we're actually able to take this out and what we should or usually do do uh, do do <laughs> Uh, what we usually do, though, is uh, have Padme's throw his poison in there while I click all my abilities and get my burst going. Because my burst takes a lot of clicks, obviously. It takes a Q, a W, E, R, and D, and then i got to hit Q again. So by the time I have all that done, uh, me throwing in a poison before I start all that is possible, but it kind of takes a little bit more time. So we have him throw his poison in first, and I'll follow the poison uh, up. And so we are going to have a lot of damage down, and with the poison arrow... Arrows and Mage Cows, you're going to be doing so much damage over time. Um, with the attack speed as well, I just... This build was a lot of fun for me uh, to just kind of massacre these things. And it was actually a lot of practice on some of these bosses. When we had two bosses on a blue chest, we had a lot of skill shots coming at us. And we had to dodge a lot of skill shots. Uh, right here, he's barely able to actually keep me alive. 
Uh, after this boss, we actually didn't have any problems, so that's why I'm showing you guys this boss, and it's probably, I think it was our first dungeon, is probably why it was, you know, the most problematic for us. But uh, the Spectre Shoes are going to be a big part, and if you're going to go Spectre Shoes, they're about 200k a piece. Uh, we got 4.2 because they were actually cheaper than 4.0, um, and if you get in trouble, you just pop them, and you'll be safe. So right there, we got 9k fame a piece, and uh, in the chest, we're, I get a Demon Cape, which isn't bad, and then 12 loot, body, uh, loot bags and a couple runes and whatever else. So you're going to be able to be able to see the setup here again. Like I said, you're going to want a Limhurst Cape because the Limhurst Cape is going to allow you to use your Spectre Shoes for that full 16 seconds without running out of energy. Um, but here I just reset my stack of poisons. Um, and we're going to move on to the next boss now. And what you would like to do when you're running past mobs is you're going to want to make sure you get full health before you start running. And when you start running, you're going to want to tank originally in the beginning um, and then start healing. Right here, Padme's made a fatal mistake almost, but it looks like he's going to be okay. Uh, what you're going to want to do, though, is run past, take some damage, and then use your invis. If you do it too early, um, you know, you're wasting a lot of valuable invis time, and then you have to wait that 60 seconds. So if you're looking for kind of just speed uh, and trying to get, you know, the best uh, clear times, and just going for these bosses are a lot of fun in Tier 5. So I really do want to try Tier 6 with the same build. Problem is, uh, my buddy Padme is very low spec on his druid. So we don't know if we could probably do it yet. But for some of you guys that are, you know, running like a, you know, 300 out of 400, 200 out of 400 uh, spec on that druid, you for sure could do this with a two-man. I feel like uh, you should be able to at least uh, do Tier 6, maybe green bosses, maybe blue bosses. Probably not purple, but you should be able to do a Tier 6 for the most part. Uh, what we did actually notice here, um, which is kind of crazy, is there was an actual team in this dungeon. They just didn't clear the entire first level. So that's basically going to be the end of this video. We do go on to take on other bosses, but I'm not going to show you. It's basically the same thing as the first boss we just killed there. As we are running through this dungeon and following a team from behind, we don't actually end up fighting them because it's six of them, and I'm not really running that great of PvP gear. Um, I mean, if we could catch him off guard, maybe, but Padme's wasn't down for it, so I'll throw him under the bus this time around. But this was a lot of fun, actually. Uh, it was something new to me. I never tried a two-man dungeon, and it was good loot and good fame. Um, so I will probably make another video something about this, maybe another build that runs a little bit faster. Uh, let me know if you guys kind of like this PvE content as well, as I always give you guys PvP content, but not always PvE content so let me know in the comments below leave a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button as i have been grinding the hell out of albion online and i i'm loving it so much so uh just give me some love in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time